Hey, an emotional and eye-opening presentation for hundreds of students taking driver's ed class, and it's all done in the hopes of saving lives. Tonight we take you inside the story of the unforgettable lesson. Dan Rascone joins us. Tell us what this is all about, Dan. Yeah, Mark and Sean, it's a story of Blake Strubble, a young man whose life was cut short after he was hit and killed by a drunk driver. His parents have a very difficult time talking about that day, but time and time again, this couple musters up the courage to speak about what happened in hopes of saving other kids' lives. Megan, Perry. Roll call Hunter, in Mr. Beck's Justin. driver's ed class at Bingham High School. This is where students are learning the do's and don'ts of driving. Leaders. But today... And today we're going to be really honest with you. A special we're presentation. We don't want to frighten you in any way. A wake-up call of what can really happen on the roads if you're not responsible. This little guy was born. We were so excited to have him join our family. This story is all about Blake Strubble, a young man who grew up with a bright mind and a talented gift for sports. He also had the looks. He had the most beautiful eyes you can imagine. Blake would go on to graduate from Bingham High at 17 and get his associate's degree at 18. But on April 22nd, 2009. Well, this is the last picture that we have of our three sons together. Blake and his friend were tragically killed in a car accident in Ogden, hit by a drunk driver who was running from police. They were going between 80 and 85 miles an hour when they impacted Blake. Blake was killed instantly. My son was murdered not by a gun or a knife or any weapon that you might normally think of, but by this car, it became a weapon in the hands of an irresponsible driver, and it didn't need to happen. I just wanted to hold him one more time. It's a story Susan and Tim Strubble have told more than 100 times inside one classroom after the other for the past four years, and it never gets any easier. Oh, it's terribly hard. It's one of the hardest things I think Susan and I have ever done. We're recalling the worst nightmare of our life. We feel that perhaps in some small way we can make an impact on new drivers and help them understand that they take on a huge responsibility when they're driving. The Strubbles are part of the Zero Fatalities program with the state. Their son is featured in the 2009 booklet. In that year, 35 teens lost their lives on Utah roads. In 2013, that number dropped to 18. I think it's having an impact. Mm -hmm. The Zero Fatalities program, I think, is doing its job. But hearing it from the actual parents makes a powerful impression on these kids. It's really impacted me. Now I can be a more responsible driver. Your life can change in an instant. And the teacher. We don't know for sure, but they maybe have saved one or two teenagers' lives because of their story. So no matter how painful it is, it has been 2,029 days since Blake's death. The struggles keep coming. And having to reaffirm in their minds that Blake had been killed. Believing they may save a life. We need you to understand that your choice to drive is a great responsibility and that it carries consequences. And they also believe this is exactly what Blake would want them to do. I think that he would be proud of his parents. Go on and have good and happy lives. And we wish the very best for you. Thanks. Well, the Strubbles give six presentations a month at Bingham High School and Weber High School every September, November, February, and May. The driver of that car that hit Blake was just 17 years old. He was tried as an adult and got two 15-year sentences in prison for killing Blake and his friend. That's the other part of the story. They also tell kids about how other lives were also affected. For more information on this story, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. Mark, Shauna, back to you.